you know, most of the money when it comes to the uh, uh, the equity markets, the bond market is really made when you when you find um, regime changes. Uh, for example, in late uh, or the fourth quarter of 2019, when we started calling for uh, bond yields to collapse, and then uh, last summer uh, of 2020, the opposite, and equities rallying, all those kinds of you know really structural um, changes almost. And uh, I wanted to highlight one here today that it's not an, not an imminent one to react to, but one that we think um, uh, is taking place and is going to be uh, among us for a longer period of time. And a lot of it really has to do with what we think is now the, 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 the popping of the passive investing bubble. It's something I've been talking about for several years now that there's a major risk of that taking place and that when it would take place that place that a more proactive approach, not a hectic approach, but a more proactive approach would become absolutely pertinent for you to be able to uh, continue to make money in the markets, uh, whether that is your longer term nest egg in your retirement accounts or in the near term. So I brought along, I think, three charts that uh, give us some pretty good perspective on this. The first chart is, and these all three are going to be what's called a logarithmic chart because they're such long-term charts that we want to uh, put them in the right perspective. So here what I did is I took the financial or the technology sector of the S&P 500 tech sector and I divided it by the financial sector. And you can see that uh, tech has had a, a massive relative outperformance versus uh, financials over the past decade or so. But uh, that outperformance has started to stall and develop this sort of rounding top. And you can see what's taking place now is that this rounding top is starting to break down. Now, as is the case for the other two charts I'm going to show you, I think near term this is overdone. Um, but I think the path of least resistance here is a continued, uh, a, is continuing in the direction of uh, technology, particularly the NASDAQ 100. Uh, underperforming relatively speaking it doesn't mean those stocks can't go higher but they will likely underperform so this is one way of looking at it another way of looking at it is by taking value stocks and dividing them uh excuse me growth stocks and dividing them by value stocks same concept massive outperformance for the past decade or so on the part of growth stocks versus value then they started to stall, uh, and now we've broken down. Again, I think short term, this is oversold, uh, but the structural the, the, the structural change, uh, the regime change, I think, is here. And then the third chart, and I think this is arguably the most important one, is if we take, let's say, the S&P 500, and we divide it by uh, essentially stocks, outside of the S of the US. And even though the breakdown here hasn't happened in a big way, you can see it's the same situation. We have mega cap stocks, uh, basically the S&P, outperforming the rest of the world for the past decade or so, and we're starting to break down. And the common denominator in these three things is very simply just a few extraordinarily uh, heavily weighted equities from Tesla to Apple to others that are essentially holding up or have been holding up the S&P. We've been drumming, uh, uh, beating the drums on this now for, again, for an extended period of time, how when that bubble pops, the, pest, the that specifically that S&P bubble, uh, the average stock will outperform. We talked about this as one of the major trades coming into this year, that the equally weighted S&P 500 will likely outperform the S&P, which is taking place in a meaningful way right now uh, but also what that would lead to in terms of you know bigger picture sort of blow-ups of passive investing bubbles and uh, we think we're there and these are really important charts so I hope this is helpful give us a thumbs up like and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video